Okay, for this activity, we're going to convert water supply fixture units to gallons per minute. To do that, we are going to use Table 38240, Table 3 from the Wisconsin Plumbing Code book, and the table is entitled Conversion of Water Supply Fixture Units to Gallons Per Minute. To convert the water supply fixture units to gallons per minute. First, we take the number of WSFU that we have, and in this uh, example, I'm going to use 35.5 WSFU, and we are going to convert it to predominantly flush tank fixtures for this activity. So the predominance will be for flush tank type fixtures. So I will be using the right-hand side of this table for this conversion. Uh, as you look at the left-hand side, you'll notice 35.5 is not on that side of the table. So we're going to have to do some interpolation to determine where that's going to fall over on this side of the table in the gallons per minute column. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly highlight that I do know the gallons per minute for 30 WSFU and I do know the gallons per minute for 40 WSFU. Okay, you'll notice on the right-hand side, 30 WSFU equals 20 GPM, and 40 WSFU equals 24 GPM. So our 35.5 WSFU is going to fall somewhere in between that 20 and 24 GPMs. Now, to do this, we are going to set up a little equation or a little table here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the numbers that were on the table immediately above the number that I'm seeking, which is 35.5. So we're going to grab 30 WSFU. I'm going to put it right here. And we're going to put 40 WSFU right below it. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to convert it to gallons per minute. Okay. And as I highlighted, 30 WSFU equals 20 GPM, and 40 WSFU equals 24 GPM. All right. Now, to start this off, what we're going to do is we are going to take a look at the difference in gallons per minute on this side, which is 4 GPM. And then we're going to take a look at the difference in WSFU on this side between the two numbers that I do have, which is 30 and 40. And the difference between that is 10 WSFU. Okay. With those two numbers, what I'll do is I'll set up an equation. I'll take my 4 GPM, and I will put it here, and then I will take my 10 WSFU, and I will put it right here, and I'm going to divide the 4 GPM by the 10 WSFU, and when I do that, 4 GPM divided by 10 WSFU equals 0.4 now I'm going to label it gallons per minute per 1 WSFU. So for every WSFU that I go up after 30 or come down from 40, the gallons per minute will be 0.4 gallons per minute for every WSFU. Now when we look at our example, we are looking for 35.5, and 35.5 WSFU is 5.5 WSFU more than 30. With that said, I'm going to take the 5.5, and I'm going to bring it down over here, okay, and I'll write that down here, 5.5 WSFU, I'll label it, and now I'm going to multiply the 0.4 GPM 
times the 1 WSF, or excuse me, the 0.4 GPM per 1 WSFU times the 5.5 WSFU. Now when I multiply that out, I'm going to get 2.2, .2, and my WSFU are going to cancel out, and my label will be in GPMs. In other words, if I go up 5.5 WSFU on the left-hand side, I will go up 2.2 GPM on the right-hand side. 30 WSFU equaled 20 GPMs. So I'll just write that down. 30 WSFU equaled 20 GPM. Okay. We are going to go up 2.2 GPM. Okay. And that's going to bring us up to 22.2 GPM. By going up to 0.2 GPM, that will be what? 35.5. WSFU equals. So grand total, 22.2 GPM. 22.2 GPM is the equivalence of 35.5 flush tank WSFU.